Hi everyone. As the holidays get closer, I know that a lot of us have been thinking about how hard and difficult this year is and how weird these holidays are going to be. It's We've gotten used to di worshiping digitally, but um, you know it's still hard for a lot of us not to be able to gather in this space that we've come to think of as God's house and to see the friends the, around us at worship. Unfortunately, the holidays are going to make this even more clear. Many of us aren't going to be able to gather with friends or family. We can't welcome guests or have big meals like we're used to. In the midst of all of this, one thing that can give us comfort, I think, is our traditions. Now, sadly, this year, even some of those traditions are only going to remind us how different things are. Like, for example, this year we won't be able to um, huddle together in a darkened sanctuary and share the light from one candle to the next as we sing Silent Night. But I'd like to show you something. This funky looking thing is an advent wreath. I made this when I was in seminary um, out of Bic pens and Christmas lights because you can't have open flame in a dorm. And uh, so yeah, you turn on with a switch here and there's different switches on the bottom. You can turn on different lights. I made this because I was feeling far away from home. There was a lot that was unfamiliar and I needed something that I could lean on, something that was familiar. and. Advent was something that I could do. This wreath kind of reminded me of all those traditions of growing up and made me feel at home. And so I'm kind of hoping that our Advent wreath this year can do the same for all of us. And that's why I'd like to invite each of you to, in your own homes, as part of our worship each week, pull out your Advent wreath and light that candle uh, with us uh, as a group. I know that it's not going to be quite the same, <clears throat> but I'm hoping that if you're willing, you will take a photo or a video of yourself lighting, yourself or your family lighting that wreath. Um, uh, you can share those on our Facebook page or email them to um, Cindy at the office, office at onyoustaylutheran.org. If you'd like, I'd also invite you to share a story about that wreath. You know, where did you get it? Was it a gift or did you make it? Or um, did you buy it at some time special in your life? Was it a something passed down from family, or maybe there is a special story about one year you lit it and something funny really happened or something like that. I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to use these photos and these videos in worship as we light the Advent wreath uh, so that we can see the faces of the people around us who are worshiping. It's still not the, as good as being in the building together, but I think that it will be a good way for us to remind ourselves of all the people that are gathered with us. I also know that there's a lot of folks who are worshiping with us on YouTube who we haven't met yet uh, face to face, who are new to this community. And I'm hoping that this might also be an opportunity for us to see all the people that God is gathering with us in worship, people we recognize and people we don't, to remind us the good news is still being told even in a pandemic. So I really hope that you'll share your wreaths with us if you don't have a wreath, um, I've already mentioned there's materials available at the church, um, some packets so that you can uh, take and make a simple wreath yourself. Or, um, you know, there's always craft stores. You can, you can do something completely your own and share that. Um, you can even make it out of Bic pens and Christmas lights if you like. I think this is a great example of how even though something is electronic, it doesn't make it any less real. So... Thank you for participating with this. I think this is going to be a great way to brighten all of our spirits in this strange new holiday season. Blessings on your Advent and Merry Christmas.